Yo, what is up, all you lit savages out there? Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Today, we're going to do a little review on the Hot... Uh, not the Hot Wheels. Why am I going to say Hot Wheels? The Spin Master Monster Jam. Uh, these two Spin Master Monster Jam toys. This is the World Finals. Um, World Finals 21 truck. Sorry if I sound tired. Hey, yeah, I see you. It doesn't matter. It's not going to stop me. And we have the limited edition Spin Master Collector's item known as the Red Grave Digger. The Red 2022 40th Anniversary Grave Digger with the red chassis, red base, red rims, red BKTs, you know, 40th Anniversary, all that stuff. So we're going to do a little review. I can't, I already opened the trucks for some reason. I don't know, I'm kind of stupid, but... Let's get out the World Finals one. Okay, so with the let's get this guy out of the way. We got the World Finals one. We got some blue rims or blue tires. We got yellow rims. We got this yellow and blue paint scheme, which I kind of like. It's like an ocean kind of and the sun a little bit. But <coughs> um, it looks pretty nice. And we got, uh, what is this? This got May 21 through 22. May 21st through the 22nd. And that's pretty cool, uh, because it shows the date when the, hold on, let me focus. Yep, shows the date from where the World Finals was at. And Orlando, next year, Monster Jam is going to, Monster Jam is going to Nashville, Tennessee. And I know you guys probably know that, but just letting you guys know, I might go to that next year. And that's going to be fun. We got a red chassis, not red chassis, why am I thinking of the Grave Digger? No, this is a... White chassis with white a white base. It's a plastic base, not a metal one. The the whole chassis is kind of white. Uh, it's not focusing. And you've seen that before. World Finals X X I, and it's Orlando, all that stuff. This was a fun show. I gotta admit, I had fun. There was some scoring was a little iffy and all that stuff, but. I had a fun time. I got to meet a lot of my favorite Monster Jam YouTubers. And I got to meet Monster Jam Lord, Chaos to the Max. I got I got to meet Avengers Racing. I got to meet everyone. And I had a fun time, honestly. If you didn't like the Monster Jam experience, then it's okay. It's your opinion. As long as you spent time with your family or if you did something that made you happy, then that's all that really matters, honestly. It doesn't matter about the show. It matters about the memories you make at that show. So, yeah, we're going to get the World Finals truck out of the way. Next truck we're going to see is the World Final, Not the World Finals. What am I saying? Why am I saying about the World Finals? No, the Spin Master Special Edition or Limited Edition Spin Master Grave Digger 40th Anniversary. And this is pretty cool because it's a uh, one out of five thousand trucks to be made, and with this, it is nice. I like it. Actually, let's do two things at once. We got the grave digger, the red chassis, the red the red base, the red rims. This looks nice. But then the Monster Jam 2022 Souvenir Yearbook. Why is this all like this? Because, I don't know, it got wet during the freestyle stuff and kind of got messed up, but, you know, it's how it is. So let's open this thing. I'm trying not to rip anything. That's my main goal. Got this Dragon play set. Looks beautiful. I love it. Looks nice. No, I'm not missing anything. Welcome to Monster Jam. All that stuff you can read if you want to. You can pause the video if you want to read anything. Hold on, let me... You can pause the video if you want to read anything right here. Or right here. If you want to read any stuff that you think is interesting. I like that track. It's pretty nice. It's pretty busting. Oh, no, that's the... No, that's the World Finals track. Last year. No, not last year, but in 2019. Pit party, everyone's masked up because at that time you were doing people were doing that, but not now. Sandbox, uh, arena tracks. I like the arena shows. They're just not really my cup of tea though because they're fun. Some people, but just not me personally. Let's fix this. 
We got all these pictures. We got Scott Douglas. We got um, we got Dennis Anderson. Why did I not forget that name? I'm gonna be like bullied in the comments. Uh, why are you going like that? Anyway, let's get out of that. Let's go to this one. By the numbers, this is these are one hundred one uh, one hundred one thousand five hundred horsepower, one hundred miles per hour, twelve thousand twelve thousand pounds. This look all cool. That's all. Cool. That's cool. Earth versus surf. Surf. Sorry, I said surf. Sorry. Single and double pack. We have Bakugan Dragonoid and. Uh, Earthshaker, and we have Son of a Digger, and Pirate's Curse, and we have all these trucks. That looks like uh, El Toro Loco red, not gonna lie. Well, not red, but yellow. We got JudgesZone.com. It's pretty mid. I'm not gonna lie, it's not really that good. Don't do JudgesZone.com. <coughs> I'm not gonna blame the fans. I like the idea of a JudgesZone.com. I like the idea of fans judging, because it gives more fan interaction, but it's just... That's kind of dumb. Let's go social, social media, all the plugs. It's always at Monster Jam. So, yeah. Grave, 40 years of digger, 40 years of grave digger. So, started in the 1990s? No, it started in, uh, I think, nine, no, hold on. Don't, why do I not remember this? It was started in something. I think it was the 1980s. I don't know. I'm not really that smart. Uh, Adam, yeah, Kristen Anderson, Ryan Anderson, and the whole gang. Ryan Anderson. Um, yes, yeah, 1967. So, uh, Grave Digger started in the 90s. Kinda. Gravedigger. It was Gravedigger, Bigfoot, Barefoot, Stomper, USA, USA 1, I should say. And then I know trucks like Overkill, oh no, yeah, Overkill, Equalizer, Outlaw, and all those big name trucks. And also uh, Awesome Kong and all those guys. <laughs> If you want to read this, you can. You can pause this if you want to read anything. <coughs> Grave Digger. I feel like at the World Finals, they should have bought like Grave Digger 19 with like the the yellow, not the yellow, but the silver rims. Uh, mud bogs. Eight, oh yeah, so like the mud bog stuff. If you want to read this, you can stop. You can pause the video and read it if you want to. Son of a Digger. All of these stuff, all this stuff. Evolution of success. It's celebrating thirty years of Monster Jam. So Monster Jam's been around for thirty years, but I'd say it's been around for more than that because Monster Jam was started in. It's okay, so thirty years. So it's, um, ten plus ten plus ten. So Monster Jam was started in the two thousands, but Monster Jam really got started in the nineteen nineties. During Saint, during at the Saint Louis at the World Finals Zero, the first World Finals, um. So I don't know, but wouldn't it be thirty one years? Because it started in nineteen nine. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I tried. Let's go to the next page. Uh, I might skip a page. Oh, we got all the yearbooks. You want to read that? All this stuff. I'm trying not to get in your way. You want to read that? You can. You want to read all this stuff? If you want to. The old Max, the old Maximum Destruction, you know, Bulldozer right here. Let me try and get a good view. There's Bulldozer, Team Mens, all the good yearbooks, all the good monster trucks. Steel Titans 2, Beam is better, Beam and Rigs. 37. That's a good amount of monster trucks. Monster Jam University. Anyone wants to go there to be a monster jam driver or monster truck driver or any sort of driver of a monster truck, it's always good to go here. <coughs> this is cool. 
I like that. Return to action, all this stuff. Make it the truck. Yeah, it's kind of not weird. Okay, let's just get all this stuff. Yeah, it's NASCAR, all that stuff. But no one cares about this kind of stuff. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Let's get on to the monster trucks, because everyone is here for that. Actually, no. Let's. This is Thunder Alley. That's cool. Record book. That's cool. Record book. Or, re no, yeah, the record book. Oh. Hello. Ah. Uh, is this Lego? Lego Technic? Lego Technic. I didn't even know that existed. Actually, no. Here we go. Uh, the, the years of extreme air, the years of crash madness, the years of the crazy saves and all that stuff. Okay, here we go. Alien Invasion. This was originally driven by Bernard Light, but I don't know why they have it in this picture. It doesn't really drive right now, but Bakugan Dragonoid, driven by the man himself, Camden Murphy. Um... Blue Thunder, driven by the man himself, Todd LaDuke, a.k.a. the man who drove Blue Thunder, Metal Militia, uh, Monster Energy, and I think that's it. I think that's all he drove. Monster Mutt Rottweiler, a.k.a. driven by Rod Schmidt. Used to be driven by Rod Schmidt, but now I don't know what to do. And I know that this is going to be competing in Puerto Rico. Like a show down there. Or I think it's Puerto Rico or... It's one of the two. We got Cody Saucier. Or Cody Saucier. Yeah, Saucier. Driven by, uh, yeah, Driving Dragon. Used to drive Monster Energy. Earth Shaker. Tristan England. Um, who uh, used to kind of somewhat compete in uh, the, dr not Dragon, but the, uh, he used to, last year he competed in, um, Megalodon, and for his dad drives the famous Big Kahuna, which is a kind of a, not a Willy's body, but one, something like it, but it, it used to be a trophy truck. El Tolo Loco used to be driven by Mark McDonald, um, Lupe Souza, John Cesac, um, and... Uh, Becky McDonough, and I feel like I'm forgetting, I don't think I'm forgetting something. We got the man Craig, champion, Mark List, Elvis Linez, and Armando Castro. Good job for almost all of these guys for winning, champ for winning, uh, um, awards. Bryce Kenny, aka driver of the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, which is... I've heard that their licensing is not going to be around for the end of this year. So I don't know what he's going to be driving. <laughs> oh, my neck. Grave Digger. Down, 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 down. Bad to the bone. I probably shouldn't send that song. That's copyrighted. Um, Driven. Let me get this in focus. Driven by Kristen Anderson, Adam, Adam Anderson, Tyler Meninga, and Brandon Vincent, aka the World Finals Racing Champion of World Finals 21 Racing. Um, this truck also used to be driven by um, drivers like Pablo Huttvager, Gary Porter, John Zimmer. Charlie Pockin, or Chucky Pockin, whatever you want to call him, and many other drivers. I don't remember all of them, but I know Dennis drove this truck. Dennis was Dennis Anderson, you know, the creator of Grave Digger, and the father of Freestyle. <coughs> Tom Mentz, driver of that. Nah, nah, nah. Take a ride and go ride. Yeah, front clip. Take a ride, yeah. Maximum Destruction, a.k.a. driven by Tom Mance, Blake Granger. Used to also be driven by the man himself, Neil Elliott. Uh, Colt Eichelberger, Jared Eichelberger, who is not really a great dude. But uh, Colton and uh, Neil are. They're pretty cool people. Um, and I don't know anyone else who drove Maximum Destruction. Or Max D is what they call him. Uh... 
they just kept the name Max D. Why? Because it just was short. Ah, uh, that's what she said. Oh, uh, funny. No. Uh, Megalodon. Driven by the man himself, Corey Rummel, and Bernard Light. Also was the driver of, uh... What was it? Alien Invasion? Uh, Corey Rummel used to drive Pirate's Curse and Rage. Rage is also a famous independent monster truck that he drives in the independent series, like uh, Monster Truck Throwdown. Uh, I think that's it. Or probably some other tours also. He also drives Avenger, so that's why I know also. So Megalodon also used to be driven by Justin Sipes and Alex Blackwell in one of the... Or Ch Alex Blackwell or Chad Tingler in one of the Monster Jam shows overseas. Return to Orlando, of course, we already have that. You guys already saw that. Monster Mutt Dalmatian, this truck. I don't know why this is here, because it doesn't compete, but it's cool to see it. Also used to be driven by um, Cynthia Gautier and the famous Candace Jolly. I don't know where she's at now. She's probably retired. Monster Mutt. Who let the dogs out? This truck is driven by Chucky Pockin, Charlie Pockin, or whatever you want to call his name. He drove this truck, and I know uh, Jim Kohler once did, drove this truck once. And then, I think that was it. I know someone else drove this truck, but I don't remember. I know all, all I know is Charlie Pocken who drove this truck. Pirates Curse, also driven by Steven Sims, wherever he's at. I don't know where he's at. Scooby Doo, what's a Scooby Doo? Come for you. We're gonna run you over for our BKT tires. No, that that didn't rhyme at all. Um, <laughs> Lindsay Reed and Driv also Miranda Cosette. I met her at the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, so this also truck was driven by Nicole Johnson, who wasn't really a great monster truck driver. Um, and also, what's her name? Bailey Shea. But now she competes with Quad Chaos and Dirt Crew. Um, so Lindsay Reed, Miranda Kozad, she's, they're pretty good drivers, I gotta admit. Next. This baddie right here, Kayla Blood, Kayla Blood Granger. Which, I'm friends with Blake Granger, so yeah. Um, Soldier Fortune, to honor the militaries, mil the, you know, the military, the military families who serve our country. Uh, I don't know why they removed the gun on the truck that's kind of, you know, not good. That's a little SJW right there. Um, but, yeah, I like the truck. It's nice. But, also, Chad Fortune used to drive this truck. It was pretty cool. Chad Fortune also drove NWO, Superman, and I think another monster truck that I don't remember. I don't know. Um, uh, Soldier Fortune, Black Ops, done or not, done or not, I'm not gonna send the theme sound. Um, Tony Oaks, he was also a 10-year military veteran in the military. Um, that was cool. Uh, that's a nice truck. Son of a digger, da -na 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 I shouldn't, no. <laughs> Ryan Anderson, the man himself, uh, driving Son of a Digger. It's a nice truck. It's a really good truck. Hopefully we get Bog Hog one day as a Monster Jam truck. That'd be kind of cool. Whiplash, aka driven by Brianna Mahan. This is a nice truck. Unfortunately, with the Spin Master truck, they only made it W instead of Whiplash because I think Marvel has some a truck called Whip, uh, uh, not truck, but a character in their name called Whiplash. Um, Bari Musawa driver of Zombie, also was driven by Sean Duhon. Zombie was also driven by Sean Duhon, who wasn't really, who was kind of mid, not gonna lie. But Zombie's also had many configurations of the body. It had a biker zombie, it had a uh, burn victim zombie, it had a yellow zombie, it had a uh, Skull Zombie, it had multiple versions, so that was cool, but none of them were actually driven, so it was only in a non-core. Anyway, let's, let's move on. Lucas Oil Stabilizer, Cynthia Gautier, or Gautier, whatever her name is, 
I know it's French for something. I don't know. <laughs> I tried. Now, this kind of upsets me. How come Avenger and Axe or Avenger and Black Pearl don't get, like, their big, you know, big pictures? It's kind of, it's kind of sus. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> anyway, we have Avenger driven by Jim Kohler. We have Preston Perez, driver of Axe. We have, um, what is his name? Uh, why do I forget his name? I drive his truck in, uh, MEL. I'm driving Monster Energy League. John Gordon, Bad Company. This is a beautiful truck. I love this truck. He's a pretty cool dude. We got the one-legged monster himself. Not a monster. He's a really great dude. But, um, uh, uh, Cole Renard, a.k.a. Driver of the Black Pearl. Who he also drove Gravedigger, and I think he once drove Max D. I don't know, but um, what's his name? Another Craig Champion. Oh, he drove Brutus. I didn't know that. I never knew that. I didn't know he drew Brut drove Brutus. Travis Mowry, driver of Extreme Attitude. They need to update that because now he drives Rockwell Red. Hooked driver Shane Freed. I don't know this guy. Uh, I know Hooked. Hooked's been around forever. Uh, and Jester, Matt Pagley Willow, a beautiful truck. It's her name, Kaylin Miguez, Miguez, driving Jailbird. No, I feel like I skipped something. Yep, we got too tall or too short. Short Olford, he's a great dude. He's also my height. Um, and Paul Jensen, they both drive Jurassic Attack, but now he drives Velociraptor. Uh, Kraken, driven by Nick Pagley Willow, and now this truck is blue, so hopefully we see more of that. The man himself, Jamie Gardner, driver of Overboard. Now this truck is blue now, no, with the new paint scheme. And yep, the man himself, Corey Rummel, driver of Rage. We got the Raminator team, the Hall brothers. Mark Hall, Raminator. And we got Kurt Kramer, driver of Remunition. Uh, I don't know why his last name's not Hall. If they call him the Hall Brothers, but I don't know. Uh, Ryan Disharoon, driver of Saigon Shaker. And I know, um, what is it, Mark Disharoon? Or one of the two drives uh, another monster truck. I don't know the name. I feel stupid for not knowing the name, but it doesn't matter. Chad Tingler, driver of Stone Crusher. I know he drove Grave Digger. Back in the day. Why am I, Why can't I flip the page? The man himself, a.k.a. the man who literally drives with the Sim Monsters crew every day. <laughs> he kind of mid. Um, but uh, John Zimmer Jr., driver of Terminal Velocity. We got C Mike Christensen, driver of Vendetta. We got Jamie Garner, driver of Wildside. We got... Jeff Souza, driver of the Wrecking Machine. Is it Wreck? Yeah, Wrecking Machine. I was going to say Wrecking Crew. But yeah, this guy's pretty good. I like his truck. And his truck. It's nice. And we got, thank you from all the sponsors. BKT, Amp, ARP. I'm going to see if I know any of these. Magnaflow. Now, Magnaflow is just trash. Uh, Pens Oil. I think that, no, it's not Pens Oil. Luke's Oil. Lincoln Refined, NGK, not MGK, NGK Spark Plugs, KR, I don't know half of these, Great Clips, yeah, Haircut and Company, and that's got to be it, Breaking World Records, all these trucks have done stuff, this, uh, El not El Sol, uh, Zombie has done 58 spins, Grave Digger, Kristen Anderson has done on 33.8 feet which now has been broken to no 33.8 which has now been broken by uh what's his name ryan and ryan anderson ryan anderson hit 38 point something i don't remember but it was at the world finals that's pretty cool high jump uh max d went 209 feet with the nose wheelie or he the moonwalk 
and uh, Megalodon, most trucks jumped with eight trucks. I think someone's going to do higher. I kind of want to see Tom Mensch try and jump a seven. A 740, is it a 747? A Boeing 7? Something, something. Sorry. Some kind of plane. I know it's a Boeing 747 plane. I want to see him do that. That'd be cool. And what's his name? Uh, Bryce Kenny in Mohawk Warrior hit 138 miles per hour in a monster truck. That is cool. Even though in rigs with my, with Megalodon, I could hit, um, like 300 120 miles per hour one of the two but yeah this was fun i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys liked the reviews of the monster trucks and oh actually no i think i found something right here watch this look at uh let me see this let me flip it around it is the number let me see if i can get this in focus come on focus it's not focusing. It's just a bunch of numbers. Doesn't even matter. But these trucks are awesome. This yearbook is awesome. If you guys if you guys want to like, share, comment, share this to your family, share this to anywhere you want. I don't care. But as long as you guys like this, as long as you guys like my content, as long as it makes you happy at the end of the day, it's all that matters to me. Love you all. Have a good day.